Well, it's our first fish request, and <laughs> I'm venturing out of 1994 after I said I was going to stay in 94, but that's okay. It's 97. Should be fun. All right? <laughs> Alright, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back for our fish fry Saturday. You guys already know. One of my favorite videos of the week. I look forward to this slot every week, and um, we're doing Ghost live uh from the mcnichols sports arena in denver colorado november 17th 1977 it's from live fish volume 11 um i'm guessing there's a lot of live fish volumes uh, <laughs> uh apparently this is their um one of their most highly regarded shows by fans and the band themselves um Apparently, it's uh, the seventh best out of nearly 1,500 concerts they've played since 1983. That's a that's a high order right there. That's crazy, man. This is um, the funky era, the funky era of Fish, um, where they de-emphasize their often technical approach in favor of a more ambient, groove-based jams and extended extended space improvisations. Um, some of this was predicted on their transition from a club band, then to medium theaters, and finally to an arena rock which required a change in the band's approach and overall sound. Um, that's very interesting to me, because I've only heard stuff from 94. I've mostly heard stuff from a live one, and then one track from the Chicago show from 94. I think that's what it was last week. And um, So, I'm still getting my feet wet if you're new around here. I'll link my fish playlist up there if you want to go watch it. And um, shout out to the requester, Justin M., and no, I didn't have to go check. Uh, I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to this. Let's go. If y'all are subscribed, help brother out. Click that icon somewhere down there. If you want to see more fish stuff, I do this every Saturday. And make sure you leave a like and a comment, maybe with another suggestion, because I scan the comments for uh, what to do, basically. So if you got something good for me, keep leaving it. You might get done. You never know. Or you could send it in uh, on Patreon. You could join our Patreon. There's a link for it in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Uh, or you can send it in via PayPal like Justin did. So here we go. Ghost by Fish live. Three, two, one, go. I feel I never told you the story of the ghost that I once do and talk to. Of whom I never boast Cause this was my big secret How I get ahead And never have to worry I'd call Hi. him instead His answer came in action He never spoke a word Told you the 
story of the ghost I feel I never told you the story of the ghost I feel I never told you the story Awesome, Mike went to the Chick-fil-A, bro.
incredible at all. I'm totally lost in this shit. Yeah. 
love how just all coalesce is back together. Perfect. Page. Leave it alone. My eyes have already. No. <laughs> They're just grooving. 
open and there's like this creepy shit on top of the rock. That's eerie. I love it, bro. Thanks. We're going to have a lot more music for your dancing pleasure and listening pleasure. We are going to play one Sounds more like song Frank. here and take a break and we'll be back. So don't go away. That sounds so much like Frank. That's creepy. Bro. Well, um... Well, that'll be a fun video tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. Christ on our cracker, bro. Literally. <laughs> oh my God. That was like a seance, bro. I just had a lot of loss in my life, so <laughs> I don't want to be a downer, but I really have. And, um, I don't know. That was the closest I think I've ever felt to like actually peering beyond the veil i don't know man it was so creepy you kind of just get lost in that you know no i know shit obviously but like you know you really get lost in that you know what i mean like it, from that first i don't want to call it a peak because they kind of sacrificed the aggressiveness that they had on like that 90 the 94 stuff i've heard especially in trey's guitar he takes not a back seat, but his approach is completely different. And it's more of, like the, the Wikipedia article said in the beginning, it's more of an ambient approach, more of a vibe, more of in the more of an atmospheric kind of sound than the real piercing, you know, noodly electric guitar he had like on a live one, which is like the only album I've heard other than that David Bowie from the Chicago one in 94. So that's all, I, that's all I've heard. And I'm not one of those people that goes out and listens to stuff and comes prepared and like has all this stuff to say i don't do that i listen to the music for the first time i sometimes cry on camera because uh, you think i want to do that you know what i'm saying like come on bro that was some of the most powerful music i think i've ever heard in my life i've never heard four people so in sync before and i think i've said this about them before too man but that first and like not even peak because this wasn't there wasn't really peaks and valleys in this as much as i'm used to it's way more even keel like there's not as low as they can but you know i don't mean like bad like low like quiet dynamic wise all the way up to that high intensity high velocity endings that they go for you know like this was more of a, a straightforward all the way through kind of like i said even keel but there was still surprisingly i don't know how but there were still peaks within that even keel and that first one I mean, there wasn't even really a tension in release for that. That was like five minutes in, six minutes in, if that, bro. And um, you can just see probably the look on my face change, bro. Like, I, I didn't see a ghost. I didn't feel a ghost. But I heard a ghost. But not like in a bad way. I don't know how to describe it more than that. It's very strange. But like I said, <laughs> I don't want to get emotional again, Um, but definitely lost a lot of people in my life and now i feel very lonely shall we say other than you know my family and i you know it's all i really have left and um i had a lot of good friends you know so and especially my bandmates they would have loved this bro they're all fucking dead except for one bro all gone it sucks man but um they would have loved this stuff. They really would have. Like, especially my guitarist Solomon. He's my best friend, man. He would have, uh, he would have absolutely adored Trey. Like, he would have loved him so much in the way he played. Um, because Solomon eventually moved on even past our band to like even uh, an actual known band in the area um, as a guitarist. And um, unfortunately, he O'Deen died when I was 21, so like nine years ago. Um, I miss him very dearly, you know, and I miss my dad. I miss everybody, man. Like, I I hate feeling like a lonely 30 year old. You know what I mean? Like, I, this should be like, you know, my prime years. But all I have to share them with is my girlfriend and my kids. And I'm fine with that, you know, but it's just, um, I don't know. I just feel kind of lonely sometimes, you know, it's just one of those things. But this isn't a soapbox to preach off of, so I'll leave that alone. Um, I think Trey's guitar in this, like I said, they definitely took a seat back and let Mike take way more of the steering, it seems like. 
um, and that like the strings department, shall we say, um, that bass was absolutely stellar. Other than Paige's piano in this was definitely my favorite part. Paige and Mike, once again, two weeks in a row, my favorite parts of the song, even though all four of them are out of this world. Don't ever, if I ever say I like this, it's just so I can rank things. It's not really like I like this way more than that. Honestly, all four of them put in a stellar performance in here. I mean, like for the, <laughs> I say for the record books, I've heard like six songs. Um, that for my very limited knowledge of fish that's like a whole different side of them than what i've heard so far like only the 94 stuff so it's very very enlightening to hear the side of them because i've heard bits and pieces of that like in harry hood and in stash and the from a live one there's bits and pieces of this ambient they just kind of sprinkle it out throughout the song instead of it being a whole entire song like this one i mean there's still sections where the intensity ratchets up they're really building but like they still stay really close to where they started you know they don't like venture off very far like high or low like dynamic wise like the sound itself stays very very consistent and the production on this is just m mind meltingly awesome <laughs> i couldn't think of the right word i'll just go with awesome i mean like the, it's stellar i can't believe this is live it's so clean it's so open and spacey but there's also still so much going on but it's also detailed and specialized you can heal you can hear every single detail in it it's crazy bro this is a live track from denver i mean like come on bro that's crazy in 97 too but it's not like y'all were in the stone age back then. Like, obviously, y'all had great recording equipment. But still, man, it sounds like a studio track. It's it's flawless at points, man. It was great. Um, obviously, Paige in this was a really, I think, uh, brought the emotion out of me, shall we say. Um, the pianos, the synthesizers, the organ, every last little thing with ivory or even fake plastic ivory that he used in this was just fucking phenomenal, bro. I mean, he brought me to absolute tears with his pianos in this. And it's funny that I did the Ultravox song yesterday, and this is a totally un... Uh, I don't know, it's a correlation that probably doesn't have any causation, but that definitely reminded me of Ultravox at points. Just the way that he used the synthesizer for the ghost per se, you know what I mean? It kind of reminded me of that song, uh, Vienna by Ultravox, but it might be just because I heard it yesterday that too you know what i mean but there were points up uh, points there were parts that uh, it was just transcendent bro like i said it felt like a religious or a spiritual experience but just an audio form that first 10 minutes the rest of the song was great too very atmospheric funky a good feeling song you know but that 10 minutes right there or six minutes or whatever that's absolutely life-changing shit right there, bro. Like, seriously, put that on for somebody. I know there's new people listening to it now from, you know, my video, but that was absolutely incredible. I mean, like, hands down. I don't know where I would rank that because it's so different, but it's still the same effect. I'm still left, like, awestruck. I don't even really have the words. I might have just spewed word salad for the past five or six minutes. I don't know, but... It was fantastic. And Fishman, like I said, he stays in the pocket for like literally not decades at a time, but like, you know, 10 minutes at a time, eight minutes at a time does not budge, bro. He is steady as fuck. It's incredible. I'm trying to focus on everything all at once. It's impossible. You guys know that, especially with music as detailed as this. But I do catch bits and pieces of everything. And his hi hat in this insanity bro I, I can't believe he can stay just that steady the whole time it's incredible bro i can't wait to actually finally look at his kit and i promise i promise after this i'm gonna do video if you guys have a video of a song that's good obviously they're probably all gonna be good but the, you know that won't be blocked i mean i'll check them anyway because i can check them beforehand but if you know it won't be blocked i'll do a live one <laughs> i'll do a live video next week for them if you guys want just let me know, or I can move on to the Tahoe Tweezer. There's been all kinds of stuff y'all been recommending. Um, this one's come up a couple times, you know what I mean? But not as much as other ones, but I am so glad we took this stop at like 97 fish so I could see what else they kind of like, you know, the evolution. I think that's really fascinating. If I can actually follow the trajectory of the band as they grow and then finally get to their modern stuff and see how the hell they got there from where they started, I think that's really cool. So if you want to join me on this adventure make sure to leave a like and subscribe maybe leave a comment with another one to do like i said i scan the comment section for the new ones to do for the next saturdays and stuff 
you never know. I'll make sure to credit you. Thank you, Justin M. That was a fantastic selection, and I look forward to more from you, my friend. Fuck yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. Fuck yeah, bro. Bye-bye.